Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we want to look at one common mistake many people make in chemistry. Before we can look at this common mistake, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Zuluba Consultants, and the Facebook page for this and more videos. So what is the common mistake that we want to talk about? Well, if you have been asked, or if you were asked, what's the difference between oxidation numbers and ionic charges? How would you answer? Well, the difference lies with how we write these numbers. How we write this number explains to us if you are talking about the oxidation number or the ionic charge. Now, what is the ionic charge? Well, the ionic charge tells us either the atom has gained or lost some electrons for it to become an ion. So, if an atom has gained electrons, that atom becomes an ion which is negatively charged. While if it has lost, electrons, it becomes an ion that is positively charged. So how do we denote these ions that are negatively and positively charged? Well, we use the number, then the symbol to show the charge. So you start with the number, then the symbol. In the example of aluminium here, this aluminium ion, this is simply telling us that three electrons were lost by this aluminium ion. Hence, it is becoming three positive. What of oxygen here? For it to have two negative, it simply tells us that this oxygen it's now an ion and it has gained two electrons. So when an atom loses electrons, it becomes a positive ion. While when an atom gains electrons, it becomes a negative ion. This positive ion, we call it a cation, while the negative ion, we call it the anion. Now, what of these numbers that we have here? Well, put simply, these numbers, this number here, help us to know the oxidation number of an atom in a compound. Now, in situations where you have covalent compounds or coordination compounds, it is very difficult for you to know the formal charge of the atom. In the case of covariant compounds, we know that when a compound is covariant, electrons have been shared. Now, it becomes difficult for you to separate the charges. Hence, oxidation number comes to help to resolve that issue. We write oxidation number by first starting with the sign, then the number. So you start with the sign, then the number. So anytime you see a symbol in chemistry, starting with the sign, then the number, then just know that that is the oxidation number. When it starts with the number, then the charge, then just know that this is the ionic charge. So hopefully you have now understood the difference between the oxidation number and the ionic charge. 